Welcome, welcome, my beautiful Cancers. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your general tarot and oracle forecast for the week of July the 12th to the 18th, 2021. Again, I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel, for viewing, liking, sharing, and especially subscribing. If you like what I do and you're new to me, please click that subscribe button and the bell button and make it ring because it really helps me out here and promotes me to continue doing what I do. All the cards will be posted below in the information box that I use along with the information, my prices and how to contact me for a private reading should you desire that. Please know that I am truly grateful and I can't thank you enough for your interest for liking, sharing, subscribing and of course uh, sharing my videos here. Okay, let's see what we have here my beautiful Cancers. Let's see what the universe and the divine have for you. Spirit, please... <clears throat> Please show Cancer what they need to see, what they need to know, and what they need to expect, past, present, and future. Thank you. Alrighty, let's see what we've got coming in behind us, Cancer. You have the Three of Wands. You have the Nine of Pentacles. And you have the Six of Wands. Oh, I'm liking that. Great cards to start off with. And you have the King of Pentacles. Yes. Oh boy. That one flipped over. You have Justice. That's another good card. That's your crowning energy. And you have the King of Swords. <clears throat> and you have coming in towards you the Princess of Swords or the Page of Swords. And the Five of Wands. One more card, Spirit, please. One more. Thank you. And the Seven of Wands. <clears throat> okay. Let's see what we have here. What is your all-over energy here? Please know that I have I have shuffled a nice spirit uh, to, uh, you know, Give me these cards that you're meant to see in the oracle messages just to save time you have been given the what have you been given you've been given the four of cups okay so i mean look at the graphics on it right sitting there not budging you know failing to recognize a magical opportunity missing the point the distractions of daily life discontentment or boredom lost in your own world wake up Okay, well, we know that the Four of Cups usually represents, too, um, feeling like you've lost an opportunity, but also it's, uh, it's, you know, it's feeling as though you can't go forward with something. And when the Four of Cups shows up, it means you need to keep your options open. You need to keep your eyes open to new possibilities coming in. So usually when I see this card, I tell people it's time to reevaluate. If things aren't working out the way you had wished they were, maybe you need to tweak something. Maybe you need to change things up a little bit uh, if you're feeling this way, okay? Keep your eyes open to any new possibilities and accept the help that's being offered to you. If somebody should step up and say, hey, I heard about this, I heard about that, uh, maybe you should look into it, think about it, okay? Because, you know, it, it, this is constantly feeling like you, you're discontented and you're not seeing something for what it truly is okay so it's you need to just you need to just keep your eyes open to know that you have possibilities and offers and opportunities out there sometimes I tell people you can't see the see the you know uh, the forest for the trees so look beyond that my beautiful Gemini's you for your your romance and your and this came up for others too your romance and your relationship you've got finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now maybe some of you haven't you know you're you're so worried and focused on money or maybe your or maybe your significant other is that you're not sharing time that right now uh the 
ability to uh, tap into your material part of your life is, uh, you know, putting your love life on hold here. And sometimes we have to do that. I mean, this is survival of the fittest and especially when it comes to finances. For others, maybe you've met somebody who isn't, you know, isn't, um, you know, is a workaholic. Okay, so keep that in mind too. Maybe that's what's holding them back. Or maybe they're, you're waiting for somebody to connect with you, uh, you know, and they're not connecting with you and it's because they're too busy working. Okay, so finances could be a determining factor why your love life isn't moving forward as fast as you want. What do you need to surrender to? You need to surrender to the attachments to results. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen. Then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. So um, ask yourself, what are you really focused on? Are you putting too much emphasis on something uh, and not thinking about yourself? You know, don't focus on one thing and then put yourself second here. Okay, don't do that. I want you to let go of any attachments holding you back. You need to be free. You need to be able to think clearly. You need to be able to step up in your confidence level and you need to have an open mind doing what's right for you right now. So Cancer, they're telling me that you have to stop worrying about other people. You have to stop focusing on other people's problems and their drama and just focus on your own right now. Coming in with your final energy card. Oh, that came up for someone else as well. And I did shuffle. Um, the, the, you know, don't make a mountain out of a molehill. Don't allow yourself to get caught up into drama and then think the worst. Um, I think also you're going to find a way to get around something. I always tell people, um, you know, you can either go around an obstacle or you can go over it. What's going to be easier for you? So I'm thinking going around it might be easier and not trying to, uh, you know, trying to, uh, you know, climb this horrendous mountain here of challenges in your life. So take your time, step back, don't get involved in other people's drama and realize that, you know, maybe you need to focus on yourself more than other people's problems. Okay. And keep your options open here. Now, coming in behind you, you have the three of wands, you have the nine of pentacles and you have the six of wands beautiful, beautiful cards. The three of wands says get ready for action to come into you. You've worked hard for something and now, you know, basically you need to pat yourself on the back for something that, you know, you, you need to celebrate something. The three of wands is all about, uh, you know, managing yourself better. I think you're working towards your goals here financially and I think you're going to find something come into play here when it comes to business and it comes to uh, your job. Some of you might be taking some wise counsels from somebody uh, in that department. And if you're looking for a job, uh, please go and rely on a job recruiter to help you. Um, you may be taking on a new job. That's going to be very important. Some of you might have to travel the distance to that place, to that location for your job, going out of your district or maybe driving a little bit farther. But it can also be business travel. Your job might require you to have to go somewhere for the business to represent the company in some way. Now you have the nine of pentacles and that's beautiful. That's all about gain, things coming in, abundance coming in, walking in your garden of abundance, feeling secure in your, uh, feeling secure in the financial part of your life. And I, and, and, and I, you know, I call it walking in the garden of a, your garden of abundance and keeping your eyes open for all new possibilities coming towards you that are going to bring you fruition and abundance. It's also about anybody who's out there that if you're self-employed, know that you're going to be successful. Okay. Um, it's, it's all about, uh, you know, being able to see that your wisdom and your restraint has paid off. All right. Um, I think you're going to find peace and contentment. All right. And, you know, there could be some, some unexpected financial windfall. Beautiful that might allow you to do some home renovations. Maybe you, you know, you're going to get a, some sort of an insurance policy, an inheritance, a settlement, a remittance check of some sort, whatever it is, or maybe you're getting a raise, but whatever it is, you're going to have some resources and money coming into you that you can do some home renovations that you want to do at this time. Coming in below that, six of wands. Wow. 
victory after hard work and struggle. So something you're going to something's going to come into play here uh, where you're going to end up feeling victorious. You're going to win over something. You've worked hard for something. You're getting public recognition for what has happened to you in the past and now you come out the tremendous winner here. This is amazing. Coming in in the center position you have the king and this could be the energy you're feeling now. You have the king of pentacles yeah baby you have the justice yes and you have the king of swords so this is excellent energy you we let's go right here to your your crowning energy your center energy here justice justice is going to be served if any of you have been involved or dealing with any kind of legal uh situation lawyers and and um you know mediators and uh you know magistrates and judges anything to do with the legal system at all you're going to come out ahead um you know you 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 might have had to fight a hard battle but now you're going to find that justice is going to be served and it's going to be waived in your favor the, the the you know the king of pentacles here he puts his hands to anything and he makes it turn to gold i don't think finances are going to be so bad for you you're not going to be struggling as hard in the near future i think there's going to be opportunities and offers coming in that are going to present themselves now on your path I want you to step up out of your comfort zone and step up into your confidence level. Okay, you might be offered things that you might not thought you would have taken. Go for it. All right, go for it because you want to improve that area of your life, the material part of your life. Some of you could be dealing with banks. Maybe you're thinking about a loan or you're thinking about, um, you know, uh, de uh, moving your money around, investments and things like that. You could be dealing with large corporate uh, corporations that deal with large uh, lending and loaning institutions of money but I always see that this is the Midas touch card and that means that no matter what you do now you're going to come out on top beautiful the king of swords the king of swords could be somebody who's advocating for you somebody could be there uh, in your end of the ring trying to negotiate or trying to defend you for something it could be you know a lawyer or a judge um, there it could be a mediator but I also think that it could be military or, or government as well that you could be dealing with with this individual but you may receive some valuable information from this person that's going to benefit you okay and, and and it's important that your decisions are going to be fair now uh, in anything that you're going to be dealing with right beautiful stay stay balanced my beautiful friends now coming in towards you you have the princess of swords who is the page of swords you have the five of wands and you have the seven of wands so i think you're still going to be struggling with some issues uh you know um even though you know i think that the energy around you is positive i still think you're going to have a few blips on the path here a few speed bumps coming your way as they say there's going to be something that's going to be surfacing here and it will have to do you're going to hear a message coming in from somebody that will have to do with the truthfulness it's going to stop you in your tracks or any plans that you were making to move forward you're going to have to put them on hold while you deal with this but it's usually information that's going to help you and I think you know uh, it could be somebody who came in and blurted out something that maybe you thought they shouldn't have known and you know you hear about it in sort of an off manner way don't attack the messenger just take the message okay you could be dealing with a contract or an agreement right now okay and it could again have to do with legal issues coming in below that you have the five of wands you could be having to still find yourself struggling here you might be struggling with yourself or someone else where it's constant push pull it's constant battle it's constant debate it's you know it frustrates you and you feel as though you're always having to compete and defend yourself the best way to deal with that is to resolve it is not to get involved okay try not to allow yourself to be drawn into other people's drama now coming below that you have the seven of wands and that is the card that says you know what I always call that the wounded warrior it is about it is about challenges okay and I think you feel all the time that that's that's what you're up against uh, <clears throat> with energy around you but don't give up okay this says you know keep moving forward and you're going to see that things will work out in your favor as long as you stand your ground stand in your integrity don't uh, don't roll over for anybody um, this is all about you defending yourself okay uh, you know and, and standing up for yourself here right now 
you know, they tell me that, you know, there's times when you throw your hands over your head and you want to give up, but this isn't the time to do that. It's, you know, it, this is all about not backing down and defending your beliefs and your decisions and being open and honest about that. And, and by doing that, you are communicating in an articulate and, and, you know, you're conveying that message across, which is the best thing you can do. But also don't drop your guard, okay? Um, because you're right. You're right. When you have, you feel things are amiss you're generally right about them and you have to point it out but choose your battles wisely and you know stand in your self-confidence and your courage some of you could be challenging those in power okay all right here we go let's see what we have here for our verification cards for this reading for my beautiful cancer spirit <coughs> again what do they need to know what do they need to see what do they need to expect past present and future and they're not shuffling for me they're being stubborn there we go i'm going to shuffle them again i want them really shuffled there we go okay <clears throat> starting off with your three of wands you have the knight of rods some information is going to come in very quickly that will require you to act on it maybe you're going to hear about an interview or you're going to hear about a job or you're going to hear about some information coming in fast somebody's going to show up unexpectedly and all of a sudden you have to act on it be careful um, it's something that's going to come in quickly that you have to go and do don't procrastinate and shelf it I always tell people there's always someone who wants to step in your shoes so act on it coming in with a nine of pentacles you might be at a crossroads with yourself uh, right now and um, in our opposition with another person where there's a choice and a decision to be made make sure you see the whole story the whole picture and you should be able to do that again it could be a decision where you need mediation somebody in court you've got the four of pentacles <clears throat> on top of the six of wands uh, keep your mind open be open to new possibilities coming in um, I think that this is the extremes in which you're being uh, you're having to uh, either it's it's the extremes in which you spend your money or you save your money basically and some of you could be you know going out and buying a big ticket item because you have some money others you might be hanging on very tightly because you're afraid of losing what you do have and you've invested I think you just need to keep an open mind here moderation um, you know it's okay to treat yourself once in a while but don't go crazy if you're having financial problems others I think if you're being offered a job or a position or something different you might not have taken keep your options open be willing to make a change for the better okay or be willing to learn something new the king of pentacles you have the devil it is the ego card it's the card of making healthy decisions for yourself there could be somebody that has addictive behavior around you don't get involved in it you can never change somebody's habits they meet they have to be willing to do it themselves but I think you're making healthy decisions for yourself to move forward in a beautiful direction here stand in your confidence you can do this coming in with your justice card you have the four of swords and that is stepping back taking a rest uh, it's it's you know you you've dealt with a lot of things and now the universe is saying pull back step back think about yourself and take a rest maybe some of you are not getting enough sleep coming in with your king of swords you have the moon card moon card usually represents Pisces uh, but the moon card tells you that you need to tap into your instincts and your gifts that you have you might have to prove that maybe you have to write it down maybe you have to explain it to somebody but it also has to do with finding secrets that are going to surface in the background keeping your eyes open and doing your research to find out what you need to find out you know even at the darkest times of our day the moon comes out and it illuminates everything in its path and you're going to be able to see clearly soon coming in with your prince or your your <clears throat> your page of swords you have the knight of cups wow okay so maybe your knight in shining armor is going to come flying in here for you it could be a water sign pisces cancer or scorpio or not but somebody's coming forward and it's almost as though they show up at the most opportune moment that you needed them you felt rescued you may be falling madly in love with this individual for some of you it could be somebody new for others it could be a resurgence of your love affair with someone i love it coming in I mean the puzzle pieces fit so well when this shows up coming in with the five of wands you have the victory after hard work and struggle absolutely 
okay the six of wands rather this is the second time you've got it it come in it's coming towards you and it came in behind you something's going to end and there's going to be a brand new beginning you've worked hard you've advocated you've struggled for something and you've been challenged to you know to your wits end and i do think you're going to see that you're going to be getting recognition for something you're going to have people are going to be saying wow that's amazing good for you i'm so happy for you Coming in with your seven of wands, you have the two now of pentacles. <clears throat> Just maintain your balance, stay in alignment, don't take on more than you can handle, and again, I can't tell you enough, do not take on other people's burdens. You've got enough of your own, and right now, um, I think you're going to be seeing, you're going to be presented with two opportunities, two offers, two decisions, and two choices coming in. Well, my beautiful Cancers, this is your reading for this week, and I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here to look forward to. Please be mindful what you throw out in the universe because the universe is not happening to you. The universe is reacting to you. And always remember, the universe and the divine, your higher power, want you to succeed, want you to find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. And let's all continue to play safe, stay safe, and be safe. And I'll see you soon.